Hi. Hello. Welcome. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Judy Green. I'm Yuki. And together we're Dig Be Busy Talk. Talk. We're getting prawn. We are getting good at that. Yeah. Awesome. Practice makes perfect. That's right. Ah, well, thank you again for joining us this month. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a topic that um, we're both needing this June. You know, especially if you've got kids in school, mm -hmm. June is a very, very busy month. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a business owner, June is a very busy month. You put them all together and... And it's a, a very, very, very busy month. <laughs> mm -hmm. For us to survive the busy, busy time. Today, everybody's busy. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I often try to, to uh, keep things clear in my mind mm -hmm. when I'm talking to people about um, what um, part of my life that we're dealing with. Like I had somebody ask me about uh, volunteering today and mm -hmm. I immediately went to one hat when in fact she was wanting to volunteer for a different hat. That's so right. how many hats do you wear? Well, I have to think. <laughs> but yeah, starting from, you you have the role in the family. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, it, you know, as a business owner, you have, well, mm -hmm. a lot of sales to customer service to you know, warehouse they do <laughs> that's cleaning right. and everything. That's yeah. right. You've got the big yeah. hat with a whole lot of little hats yeah. underneath. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the plus in the, in the community. That's right. Yeah, and especially I think in this area, it's very important to connect with community groups and members and di different areas because it's small, but it's a big area. It is. It's yeah. small, but it's a big area. Mm -hmm. I find that people do um, collaboration mm -hmm. and. Um, um, networking mm. huge in this it area, huge, yeah. especially in the nonprofit area yes. and um, in the, the social uh, safety net. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we we do a lot in our communities on many yeah. multiple different levels. Some do it through their church program. Yeah. Um, um, actually, there was there's a local church that runs a CIA. Yeah, if you belong to this church, you can be a member of the CIA. Church in action. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we all carry uh, or wear multiple, multiple hats. hats. Yeah, it's and almost necessity here. Yeah, yes. it is absolutely. Yeah. yeah, different. And within those hats, you could have different roles. Mm. So mm -hmm. trying to keep everything straight and organized is mm -hmm. a real challenge. And I've been kind of we we had talked about doing this, and so I've been surveying friends and family about what they do for time management. Mm -hmm. And it's funny. My husband keeps it extremely simple. And he doesn't even use his calendar, uh, but he does have an old-fashioned paper calendar up on, oh, okay. on, yeah, on the yeah, inside, yeah. but he doesn't use his calendar on his phone. He uses an old-fashioned uh, paper mm -hmm. calendar up mm -hmm. on, on the wall, and only the very important things go on there. And um, so I, I know what's happening. Mm -hmm. He wants me to do that, too, but I already keep everything in my electronic brain, my, my mm -hmm, phone, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be having to enter it multiple places mm -hmm. because that's time consuming yes. and that's not good time management. Yeah. So I have chosen to do everything mm -hmm. on my phone. Um, you know, events and stuff yeah. can be added um, onto the phone and that works really, really well. Um, yeah. And then we've got a friend that we work with um, on Fresh Food Box right. and Beth is amazingly organized and she has multiple hats mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and she um, prints out her daytimer pages mm -hmm. and everything's color coded. Mm -hmm. So every um, activity for a specific hat has a certain color right. and I think that she does a, a fabulous job of that. Mm -hmm. She always looks so professional and that's that's wonderful mm -hmm. and I think it's almost um, therapeutic for her to go through that process each week to make yeah. sure that everything's updated. Actually, you're right. When, when you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you feel you have a control Yes, and then that makes your decision quicker and more effective so overall you actually utilize the time much more efficiently. You do, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so that little bit of time that mm -hmm. you put into organizing That's yourself right. each week yeah. is critical Very. to being mm -hmm. more efficient that week. And then you have less um, uh, fires that come up seemingly out of left field that mm -hmm. you have to put out. You know, um, I had a, a time management guru mm -hmm. um, in, tell me one time, and I thought this was so perfect and it is, works for me, mm -hmm. um, is only schedule half your day. Yeah because the other half fills itself in quite nicely, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just share my story. I do, I'm more like Alan, your husband. Mm -hmm. um, I Yes, I use computer, but in the end, I try many different things. And especially after I moved to Digby, starting wearing more than uh, the hats I used to wear in Calgary, it's a big city, with as a full-time worker, it's much simpler life. 
Anyways, <laughs> um, I actually I'm going back to the old-fashioned way. You know, I just make the calendar, and then on Excel. But I print out each week or two weeks time period, and I, I have it with me. And whatever happens, I just write write in on it. And but two weeks is a max because mm -hmm. after a week or so, I start losing where I am. Yes, and some things are pushed out. You know behind the schedule and if something changes new thing comes in so ideally weekly I should update my schedule mm -hmm. but the update process clears my mind yes and then and I feel okay um, everything is under control and, and helps then keep you focused again yeah well, exactly <laughs> yeah I know I've, I've been experimenting a little mm -hmm. bit because I've got so much on the go right yeah. now and yes, um, oh, yeah <laughs> um, and so I like having mm -hmm. that book that I can open it up on a page, yeah. see a week, and write everything down. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to have to be transcribing all the time. And things do change. Mm -hmm. And so what I found is that I do everything in my phone, mm -hmm. backed up like crazy. Mm -hmm. I pay for the extra storage, so mm -hmm. it's backed up. Because uh, if I lost it, that would be catastrophic. Um, but uh, I do have a day timer now that I have been trying to create a new habit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to update um, so I have it uh, the major things on there every week mm -hmm. and um, it's I'm, I struggle between the time it takes to update and if I've done things too far in advance then you're erasing I only yeah, do yeah, it in yeah. pencil so you're erasing a whole bunch of stuff so I'm thinking maybe two weeks out is the max mm -hmm. that I want on paper because it's just it's too too much maintenance yes. otherwise. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that today's world is so fast as well. The reason why I started talking about it is when I do the two weeks period of planning, my first first week is quite full. Mm -hmm. But the second week is like today I did it and it's quite empty. So I said, like, oh, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but as time goes, it gets really full. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things coming in. So That's right. As you said, it's better not to fill it up. No, yeah, because then you feel overwhelmed. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how do you manage when we're talking about mm -hmm. a marketing plan where mm -hmm. we're planning for a full year, mm -hmm. you know, through all the seasons, yeah. and we're planning, how do you reconcile that with your time management system? Well, I think the prioritizing is very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, you cannot do everything. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's good to have a big, uh, a, uh, what do you call, brainstorm, and mm -hmm. you get a whole bunch of ideas, you list up or whatever. But when it comes to reality, you can only do so much. That's right. So, I, you know, it's after so many years I've been doing my business, I started seeing my pattern. I create some campaigns, mm -hmm. and I not too many. Again, it's the same rule: don't fill up too much. Yeah, just just a manageable, mm -hmm. probably three times or four times a year, mm -hmm. and then you do it. And some become became my annual, biannual, mm -hmm. just very regular, routinary campaign. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. gives me the, the rough framework. Mm -hmm. And then I start filling up, you mm -hmm. know, how much can I take? Mm -hmm. But the campaign creates the, the goals, mm -hmm. the specific time period. Right. And then that time, it gives me the time frame. And I calculate back and say, mm -hmm. okay, I have to start advertising now. That's right. So then you put your deadlines in. Yeah. Yeah, I find that time management for me mm. is critical that I put mm -hmm. those deadlines mm -hmm. in and uh, especially if you're trying to get um, like media releases out yes. and such because you know the newspapers and the radios they've got a lot going on too they mm -hmm. need enough lead time that they yes. can get your information in yeah. there and yeah. they are generally really good about getting um, anything in the the paper or the community events mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. especially if it's something that's that's yeah. serving the community yes, uh, yes. for your your business things there they kind of want you to pay mm -hmm. but <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, you uh, still need to give them lots of time yes mm -hmm. yes so you have to get used to the mindset you plan ahead of time yeah and you give enough time mm -hmm. and then you move now for like in three months four yeah. months the result you that's want. right yeah. you kind of divide and conquer over that period yeah. of time right, yeah. so even like it, doing a media release mm. you may you'll do your first draft and then you'll send it off to your editor or your husband mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <Helpful>. <laughs> 
Um, and he'll come back with lots of edits That's and you fix great. that. And then something else changes in the timeline and you go to fix that. And so you're actually working on that for probably a week or more mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. before yeah. you're ready to say, okay, this is ready to send off. So you need to allow time in your schedule and mm -hmm. your time management to do that. And it's only you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time, but you need to make sure that you have time for that mm -hmm. because if you don't schedule it in, these are the types of things that fill up the rest of your schedule. Yeah, that's why. Why do you do time management? Why? <laughs> because if you don't, then you'll run out of time. That's right, you miss the bus. <laughs> right. So, that's totally. That's right. Because you, um, there's, everything's competing for your time. Right, yes. Everything yes. is. And you want to have balance and you don't want to be one of these people that are, are neglecting your family. Mm -hmm because you've got all these other commitments in the community, yeah. that's not healthy mm -hmm. um, for yourself or your family. So it's important to balance in and balance in time for yourself. Yes, that's, I was about to say, yeah. don't forget about the time for, to take care of yourself. Yeah. And how do you do that, Yuki? <laughs> <laughs> I've mentioned a couple of times, but to me, uh, the, the time, every week I go to Tai Chi yeah. to confess. Sometimes I cannot make it, but I try to go <laughs> regularly every mm -hmm. Saturday mm -hmm. and that two hours give me the the very good structure mm -hmm. and time mm -hmm. for me to just that's for myself yeah. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. we had um, I was speaking to a group of seniors yesterday mm -hmm. because I love to go and speak to groups and we were talking about um, how you deal with stresses mm -hmm. in your life and we they really identified something that I had also identified was that we fill up our time too much we don't have time to just be mm -hmm. you know we're called human beings mm -hmm. we're not human doings <laughs> very deep yes that's so indeed that's true. it yeah. is and so even you know mm -hmm. starting your day with five minutes of, of breathing and meditation mm -hmm. you can if you're not comfortable with meditation put on a guided one you know mm -hmm. it gives you that time to go within mm -hmm. center yourself and then be prepared for the day and it's it's spending time with yourself mm -hmm. it's just as important as spending time with your family yes and with your customer and with all the people you're helping in the community mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so everybody in the long run everybody will be benefiting from absolutely that. Yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. same Line, I thought sleep is very important. Very much so. so yeah, I try yeah. to put myself it's like a few times. <laughs> it's a bedtime, you know. Just stop the computer and yes. just brush your teeth and just relax. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and having mm -hmm. those those habits at bedtime are critical mm -hmm. for sleep hygiene. There's actually yes. a term for it. Yeah. Um, you know, we are so tightly um, connected with our circadian rhythm mm -hmm. that. It doesn't matter who you are or whether you're a morning person or a night mm -hmm. owl, that those two hours from 10 to midnight mm -hmm. are critical for your body to be able to rest and repair. And if you do not... 10 to 12. 10 to, 10 12, to midnight. 10 yeah. to 12. If you do not get to sleep, mm -hmm. you will not um, be releasing enough human growth hormone, which helps us to build muscle mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's an anti-aging hormone. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's ears just perked up. <laughs> so this is why it's really, really critical. But some mm -hmm. of us will have a hard time because we've had so much coming at us all day long yeah. Yeah. that we haven't had a time to sit down with no electronics on, mm -hmm. no TV, and, you know, maybe some music in the background, that would be okay, but no screen time. Mm -hmm. Sit with a cup of tea, have a hot bath, Make a habit of a, a nighttime routine right. about an hour before bed that helps you mm. gear down mm. so that you can get to sleep by 10 yes. o'clock. Yeah. You know, it's really, really important. Mm. And if you're a mom, you know, and you've got, you know, maybe the kids are in, in bed by eight or nine, that, that hour after they're in bed, that's not for, you know, doing the laundry and cleaning yeah. up and doing the dishes. Take that hour for yourself. Yeah, and I know in the reality, yes, you know, you have a pile of things to do. Yeah. We've been there. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but looking back, yes, it's, you skip a couple of times cleaning the house. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah. Who cares? It, yeah. it, you know, it's, you catch it the next time around, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be there That's to right. catch it the yeah. next time around. Yeah. Or you'll be... Um, short with your kids and yes. nobody wants to do that yeah. and you know we feel so bad afterwards when that mm -hmm. happens but be kind to yourself if it does yeah. yes uh, yeah and even though we do that the, uh, the business in health mm -hmm. field mm -hmm. and we encourage people to eat well and then you know cook home and blah blah yeah. blah but I 
also feel if you stress out so much because you have to make everything from scratch, mm -hmm. it's it defeats the purpose. It defeats yeah. the purpose. Yeah. Exactly. The stress kills you. Maybe. That's right. Yeah. Or if you are out somewhere and you're still doing the best you can with mm. what you have, where you are, yeah. but it doesn't live up to your standards, mm. and then you beat yourself up mentally that's about right. it, that's going to be worse than I what you so ate. Yeah. You know. So, so just let it go. Mm -hmm. um, you do your best you can. That's I love right. this. is my favorite quote from Maya Angelou: "Is we do the best with what we know. Mm -hmm. When we know better, we can do better. You know, be gentle that's with true. yourself. But unrealistic expectations is not serving no, us. No. Yeah." And if you are gentle to yourself and take care of yourself, I think it makes you more efficient, absolutely and productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I have been experiencing that too, and I strongly believe that. Absolutely. So. And if you like, yesterday mm -hmm. was a very busy day for me. Um, like this last two weeks has been crazy, and mm -hmm. the next four months will be twenty four seven. <laughs> so I don't, like, what have I gotten myself into? But anyway. Um, I was what I call grumbly bumbly, mm. you know, mm. when you're just, everything's irritating and my husband certainly doesn't deserve to be the brunt of that. So I actually suggested, let's put everything down, turn the TV off, let's go for a walk on the mm. beach. He mm. says, well, it's high tide, don't care. Let's go for a walk on the beach. <laughs> and uh, we are so fortunate to have oh, such a beautiful nature on. We and do. I think yeah. that's a, it's a huge asset here. It yeah, is, and it might've taken us 15 minutes, yeah. you well, know. Well, just even just pop up the, outside and look up the, the, the sky or the big trees it just yeah and listen to the birds yeah, or, yeah. we've got chickens now and they're mm -hmm. so funny <laughs> oh there's my stress management system they're, they're hilarious <laughs> it's stress management is closely related to the time management absolutely if you manage time you feel you have, everything's under control that reduces your stress it absolutely yeah. does yeah. and then you have more energy to be able to be more effective mm -hmm. um, in your in everything that you're doing right. in all aspects of your life yeah and, and you're much it. nicer to be around. <laughs> so how to make the time management, how to manage the time well. <laughs> you have to come up with anything better than well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is like anything. It's mm. a new skill. Mm. You know, so you start small. Mm -hmm. You break it down. You start small. Start small. See what works yeah. for you. Mm. Uh, one little bit at a time and then be evaluating. Did that work for me? Okay, in what ways did it work and what ways did, didn't it? How can I make that better? Take a look outside, see how other people are doing it. You know, there's tons of these organizational journals and such available and all of them work for someone. You know, they don't all work for everyone. Um, you may be able to pull something together mm. for yourself, like Beth did. She's very crafty. She does um, a lot of scrapbooking, so she's mm. got the tools to be able to do that. But for many of us, it's, you know, a scribbler. <laughs> yeah, whatever works for you. Whatever I, works. I'm just yeah. thinking, listening to you. Some people spend too much time, in my opinion, yeah. too much time just to searching the different tool after yeah. tool after tool, and then just forget about it. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. Grab a piece of paper, yeah. write it down. What am I going to do today? Yeah. That might be good enough for today. Yeah. And then you just do it. And then if it works, great. Yep. If it doesn't work, then then what? what's next? You exactly. think about it. Yeah. I think one of the, the neatest tools that I ever saw, and it was mm. part of a, a day timer, was that you listed your to-do items mm. for that day in the order of priority, and you don't write them down till the day, the night before. This is actually a good part of your nighttime routine, because it gets all of that clutter mm. out of your mm. mind, so you're not waking up thinking about these things. You've got them down on paper, you've got it. what your priorities yeah, yeah, are, yeah. and you work from the top down. Even if the top is huge, mm. you know, do a small part of it. doesn't mean you have to complete it. Yeah. Because I'm somebody who, if I have a checklist, I want as many checks off that list as possible. Mm -hmm. So I tend to do all of the easy things first when I really should be focusing on that big one. And it's okay to move things over to the next day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you do that in your evening routine. Mm -hmm. You go, okay, didn't get to this. Can I fit it in tomorrow? Or where does it fit in the priorities mm -hmm. by the next day? Mm -hmm. Because your priorities will change day to day. Interesting. You, in the conversation, I've heard many habit mm -hmm. routine yep and uh what else something like that. anyways the repetition thing. yes repetition yeah um and then actually we took a course early this week and mm -hmm. there's a, a technique called coping yes coping to deal techniques. with the problem yeah and then it's c coping c mm -hmm. control mm -hmm. and then coping o is uh, orient mm -hmm. and then p is pattern mm -hmm. right 
And then it goes on and on, like a negotiation, mm -hmm. investigation. I'm really impressed that she remembered that well, right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that because I don't go too far. Like it's it's intervention with other people when mm -hmm. things are happening. Yeah, so this particular course. It's yeah. A little bit mm -hmm. more communication part comes after. But the first three mm -hmm. control. Yeah. You you control your emotion. Yeah. Because when things are we can get in chaotic or panicky, mm -hmm. first thing we have to be aware is our own emotion. That's it's right. When we are so parked up and then we mm -hmm. cannot make rational, effective decision. Mm -hmm. So control, coping, co see, co co control. And then next one is orient. Orient, yeah. orient. So that means, you know, what the reality is. You yeah. just calm down and then you assess what's going on, mm -hmm. what really is happening. That's right. What's going on in the environment? What's yeah. going on with myself? What's going on with the people that I'm interacting right. with? Yeah. And when you see, start seeing that, then you start seeing the pattern. That's you right. Come, the, the routine. Pattern, the routine. Yeah. That's right. And so. and then you can, can put things in place that will prevent it mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, also something that comes to mind when we talk about... Mm -hmm. um, uh, coping mm -hmm. and when we're dealing with anxiety mm -hmm. is often some people don't they spend way too much time mm -hmm. worrying about things they have no control over so there's something called a sphere of, of like control yeah. Yeah. I really like that it comes back down mm -hmm. into um, the things you have control over mm -hmm. are your thoughts your feelings right. um, your actions, actions and the consequences of your actions That's right you do not have control over anyone else's thoughts, mm -hmm. anyone else's feelings, right. what they say, what mm -hmm. they do, or the consequences of yeah. their actions. And I think when we actually sit down and look at what we're worried about, oftentimes mm -hmm. we're worried about things we have no control over. True. Like With, the weather. Like the weather, <laughs> yes. And, I mean, we don't. We don't. And, and the broader things, I mean, there's so many things going on yeah. in our world right now yeah. that can be overwhelming. But if we don't have control over them, mm -hmm. you know, we need to be aware of them and look at what we can have control over locally that's right, yeah but yeah. Uh, we don't and vote in October <laughs> that's what way you have control <laughs> <laughs> that's so true yeah it's yeah, true yeah exactly yeah. so look at what what you do have control over mm. and take action on that but don't spend time worrying about things you have no control that's over. that's right yeah yeah it's a very good advice yeah because yeah. that helps with your time management mm. so how much time is mm. um, some people are more prone mm -hmm. to worrying and a lot of time can be um, sucked up eaten yeah. up yeah. Uh, very unproductive with worrying yeah and then yeah. again, the worry. I am not a warrior. Yeah. I'm very practical and just say, oh, I cannot do it, drop it. Yeah. But many people say, comment to me, oh, yeah. you're, you're, it's it's good for you, but I cannot stop worrying. I can't do that. No, exactly. So, and that's a habit. Worry is a right. habit. Um, and yeah. part of it is that our brains do not distinguish between past, present, future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you're worrying about something in the future, your brain is releasing chemicals that are telling you it's happening right now and you better do something about it. And that's where you get adrenaline rush and you get, mm -hmm. you know, the, I mean, like, it's just, yeah, yeah. yeah and the yeah. cortisol. Yep, yeah. and, and your body and, gets like this, oh, yeah, and then ready you have fight, physical flight. problem too. Exactly, and, uh, exactly. Yeah. So when it becomes addictive, those, mm -hmm. those hormones yeah. become addictive. Yeah. And so you have to train yourself to, mm -hmm. when you have a trigger, which is the first time you're thinking about something that you worry about, you recognize that as a trigger. Mm -hmm. There's always a trigger, an action, and a reward when we're talking about habits. Mm -hmm. So a trigger, action, and reward. So something uh, pops into mind, oh my gosh, um, I don't know, let's talk global warming. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I read another news flash on Facebook comes up that, that you know, we can all be extinct in 50 years or by 2050. Mm -hmm. That's, that, yeah, yeah, I could see why you might want to worry about that. But do you have control over that? Mm -hmm. So you get that trigger, normally you would go into this worry phase, and your reward would be all of these these um, hormones that are kicking out and making you feel like you can, can mm -hmm. take on the world until you crash and you're exhausted. Um, so when you get that trigger, you need to create a different action. You have to substitute a different action. So when you see something like that that's mm -hmm. triggering, maybe just turn turn the electronics off, step aside, go outside, sit down, Ground yourself in your reality of what, you know, what is going on in your world right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Bring you back to the present state. Yeah. And then you're going to circumvent that, um, that whole process. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, that's a great way to stop bad habits. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that works too. Like even if you have a craving for something and normally you would give into the craving and then you have the hormones that are kicking in there, you know, uh, telling you, yes, mm -hmm. this is really good for us. It's sugar. 
the brain lights up, mm -hmm. um, but then you end up with another five pounds right. yeah. <laughs> if you well, keep doing that. Diet so. is one of the good examples. Yeah. Well, the simplest way is don't buy and then keep it in your house. Right? Yeah. That's what many people say. That's so right. So you, you're, you're you removing your adaptation. That's right. Change right. the environment and set, mm -hmm. it, set it up to support your new better habit or That's better right. choices. That's yeah. right. That's right. And have... Um, practice when mm -hmm. you have that craving instead of going and hunting for what is going on in the house instead <laughs> how, how, if how, you how, have, how can you do that yeah. so instead of that um mm -hmm. already decide okay well if i'm going to have a craving mm -hmm. i'm going to do a couple minutes of deep breathing because deep breathing uh, puts you into a parasympathetic mm -hmm. um a frame of mind mm -hmm. which takes you out of that stress state or, uh, you know, maybe I haven't had enough water today. I'll, I'll have a nice glass of water with maybe a couple slices of cucumber or lemon or something in it. And I'll just enjoy that. Um, you know, you have something in place that you can substitute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, that's correct, right? But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the, uh, the craving, as yeah. an example, or some emotional just the urge. Mm -hmm. So... Why? <laughs> and then, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? Okay, so the why mm -hmm. is is all physiological. Mm -hmm. It's all chemicals that are released mm -hmm. in our mind. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts are really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's really important to choose the ones we want to believe. You mm -hmm. know, if we believed every thought that went through our head every day, we'd all be like, Belief Crazy. is a very mm -hmm. powerful, or almost the foundation of everything. It is. It's yeah. very, very yeah. powerful. So mm -hmm. when we have... Um, you know these thoughts or these beliefs mm -hmm. um, then we, we act on them uh, or our bodies will act on them in our stead so when we um, want to change that mm -hmm. uh, we have to understand the fundamental reason or how we work so yeah. Yeah. human beings will always run away from pain that's right and towards pleasure mm -hmm. But our, our instinct to run away from pain is a lot stronger than our instinct to run towards pleasure. Mm -hmm. So, you know. For, for example, let's, mm -hmm. let's give some example. Um, say uh, you have a beautiful baby, let's say. Mm -hmm. You had a brand new baby, and then you want the baby to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's a pleasure. You want to see that. You know, he's smiling, or he's happy, whatsoever. But then also you start thinking, but what if. What if he fall down? Mm -hmm. What if he gets an accident? Mm -hmm. What if he got the disease? And mm -hmm. then you start worrying about it. Mm -hmm. And say, yes, you want the, the child to be happy, strong and happy. So you want him to have more experiences. And sometimes a little push is, you know, a little stress or a little heart, mis um, what do you call failure sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. We, Actually, we learn from failure, but, right. but we try to protect our children that's too right. much sometimes. Because yeah. we are afraid yeah. he or she is hurt mm -hmm. and then oh you know what if he or she can get really really traumatic experience yeah. and, and we're, we're worrying about things that may right. or may not ever happen mm -hmm. but we're acting yeah. as if they can or we're giving them more yeah. more influence than they have mm -hmm. more power than they have yeah. and that, that's a good example mm -hmm. um, another one I would have um, is you know oftentimes you're um, if you're trying to shed weight you are told well well um, get an outfit mm. in the size that mm. you want to be and have it up on on the where you see it every day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have that visual um, uh, cue. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't often work because in the moment, mm -mm -mm -mm. the pain of giving up the chocolate yeah. chip cookies yeah. um, is, is higher than... Than yeah. that pleasure of yeah. being able to future. to fit yeah. something yeah. in the future, yeah. and and this a reward in the future is never as mm -hmm. as um, powerful mm -hmm. as a perceived reward in the present. On just in addition, but um, on the top, I just it came to my mind. If many people, it's more subconscious level. Yeah. But they don't want to fail. No. So let's say if you buy uh, you know, new clothes, which is smaller sizes or whatever, and then mm -hmm. you say, oh, I'm going to lose mm -hmm. my weight and I'm mm -hmm. going to be in the, the shape that fits there. But mm -hmm. what if it didn't happen? If I yeah. cannot make it, then yeah. you're going to be embarrassed or you're going to feel, yeah. you know, you, you are not strong enough to do that. Mm -hmm. And then that stops you to actually 
taking an action. It absolutely does. Yeah. We're, we're so afraid of right. fear. Fear is, I think, mm. one of the biggest drivers for human beings. Yeah. You know, if you it if is. you dig down, and we see so yeah. much um, in our in our social structure right now, mm -hmm. where there's so much fear, but it's it gets manifest as hate. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. when you have one group of people hating on another group of people, yeah. generally it's because they fear that that second group of people are going to take something from them right. or have something that they, they will no longer have access mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. It's it's the fear of losing or yeah. it's the fear of, of something unknown or, you know, one group of people might have, um, you know, something they do in their culture mm -hmm. that might be misinterpreted. Yeah. Right, and we think one thing is happening, and we fear it when that's not actually the case, and we mm. make assumptions and we create the filter. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's mm. so much is fear based, mm. and so it's really important if you want to succeed in business, you've got to master that fear. Yeah. and it isn't that people who do things are without fear; mm -hmm. it's that people do things like like real heroes do things despite the fear. That's true. You know, the fear, so true, yeah. the fear is there, yeah. but you just can look at it and and mm -hmm. not necessarily rationalize it away mm -hmm. but understand it understand where it's coming from and choose whether you let it um, influence your actions mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you're controlled yeah. by the fear or you just manage it exactly yeah. Yeah. and that um, how mm -hmm. how yes uh, one of the best ways mm -hmm. for um, dealing with those types of issues where we have this emotional connection mm -hmm. or this emotional block or where we're, we're self-sabotaging ourselves mm -hmm. or we're acting in defensive ways that are harming others and ourselves that we don't really want to, all of those are triggers mm -hmm. um, that are rooted in, in um, something like writing on our walls. Um, Gary Craig, who is the founder of Emotional Freedom Technique, it's also known as the Meridian mm -hmm. Tapping, um, talks about the writing on our walls and we all have it you know we all have um, the uh, incident when we were like in grade one mm -hmm. and we were embarrassed in front of a classroom and told us we're not going to do the public speaking thing right yeah. or mm -hmm. you know just somebody a well-meaning caregiver said something offhand that really stuck and, and hurt mm -hmm. our self-esteem um, there's all sorts of these things that happen in our lives that then become part of who we are and our personality yeah. Yeah but actually hold us back mm -hmm. going forward. Mm -hmm. So when you have um, points in your life that you realize that um, a fear mm -hmm. or like a, a fear of snakes, even fear of flying, can you imagine if you were an executive with a, uh, with a business and you were needing to fly all over the place and you were afraid to fly, that mm -hmm. would really hold you back. So that's where emotional freedom technique can really help because it clears those those blockages those mm -hmm. connections with the mm -hmm. emotion and the memory the emotion and the event it clears those and based on traditional chinese medicine and the mm -hmm. meridian points it keep gets the chi flowing again and when you know when chi is stagnant uh, we have disease when chi is flowing we have health mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so um, traditional uh, chinese medicine science behind that backs up the science of EFT. Mm -hmm. So there are tools out there, and it's not the only one, but there are tools out there that will help you. Some you need to work with a, um, a practitioner, but others you can do on your own. Mm -hmm. um, and it's important to find tools like that, you know, to, to help us um, be the best that we can be, mm -hmm. and so that we can manage our time efficiently, that mm -hmm. we can, you know, manage our stress that we can uh, pull it all together and be the best that we can be. I almost forgot that we're talking about time management. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, we gotta have a little bit back around. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. So yes, we started talking about time management, but it's mm -hmm. deep, right? You know? Yeah, exactly. There's it's, so much that goes into it. Well, interesting, but we often talk many, many, you know, techniques and skills and, and challenges mm -hmm. or how to overcome those things mm -hmm. comes to knowing yourself. Absolutely. It's so true. It yeah. is. And it's interesting because once you get start to add tools, Mm -hmm. to your self-help mm -hmm. toolbox um, you start to realize oh I have a tool for that yeah you know you may have a challenge and you go oh I already have a tool that'll mm -hmm. work on that mm -hmm. which is really empowering it is yes mm -hmm. yes yes mm -hmm. because you don't have to get lost what now what right yeah, yeah. yeah exactly you don't have to start yeah. from scratch you're yeah. not having to mm -hmm. you know reinvent the wheel you uh, mm -hmm. are much more efficient with I, your recovery and time I just say now what but if you can say now what actually you're good yeah. Because most people get panicked. I don't know what am I doing. This is a fear. 
It is. And, and it, it shuts you right down. in the wrong way. And yeah. you just do something wrong or you yeah. yell at somebody who you shouldn't hurt. And then, right. then everything goes... Yep, it goes downhill That's from there. Right. Yeah, exactly, so. and then you end up into that very negative mm -hmm. habit loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just being aware of yourself, your your own emotion a little bit mm -hmm. more itself mm -hmm. is a good start. Absolutely. To time management. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Being conscious, you know, yeah. be a human being, yeah. Yeah. not a human doing. Yeah. So when you have the the chaotic moment, you don't know what to do. You cannot manage time. The first thing is probably just calm down. Yeah. And okay, I'm 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 scared. Yeah. Take some deep just, breaths, yeah. you know, get, get, you know, uh, it's interesting if you're hooked up to a functional MRI, mm -hmm. which is uh, real time, um, and it shows where in the brain the activity is, and when you are in a fear state mm -hmm. or anxiety, mm -hmm. it is your, your um, lizard brain, it's, mm -hmm. it's your amygdala that's lighting up, and when you take those deep breaths, mm -hmm. um, or you're doing EFT tapping, or you use uh, the five second rule, which mm -hmm. is counting from five backwards, five, four, three, two, one. It actually flips the switch in your brain and brings that activity to your prefrontal cortex, which is the front of the brain, mm -hmm. where we do our rational thinking, where we have control over our thoughts and then can take action. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool. Nice little, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's again, it's a practice. It is. You just try to do it again yeah. and again. So don't mm -hmm. give up. <laughs> no, and yeah, you're gonna you're gonna fail the first That's time you right. do it. Yeah. But you know, learn, yeah. learn. Yeah. And you connect with people who yeah. also think about that kind of things, know the tools, mm -hmm. or try to practice those things, and then yeah. you can remind each other. Absolutely. That's a powerful thing. It Thank is. You. Thank it you is. For I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. So. And speaking of time management, mm -hmm. we try to keep these videos to about 20 minutes and yes. we're a little bit over. Yes. <laughs> it's such a deep thing. It is. It is. There's so much more we could talk yeah. about. <laughs> Just one last thing. Uh, sure. We're going to have the last Something Thursday yes. next week, next Thursday. That's it's June right. 20th. 20th. That's the last chance you can That's be here and then talk chance. with... Yeah. us about not just this health but yeah, any anything. kind of topic we just want to yep. connect and, and share exactly and we want to learn as That's well right. from you yeah, absolutely so. yeah you come down here to 68 water street mm -hmm. uh, ron green wellness center uh, we're in the basin place um, building and we would be, love for you to come down. We'll have healthy snacks yeah, and it's a very casual and, setting. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're doing a picnic theme. That's right, and it's an open house, so you it don't is. have to be yeah. noon to six full time. That's Just right. Stop by any time. Absolutely, and we'd love to see you. Yes, thank you so much. So today's we we put a lot, but anyways, yeah. time management, mm -hmm. but be aware of your fear. That's right. Yes. That's yes. right. So, yeah, the okay. stress. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so <laughs> I think until if you don't come to the samplings Thursday, we'll mm -hmm. see you next time, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Signing off from Digby. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.